burrito or rolling up in a blanket. Burrito. Yes. How do you go about teaching that? Stay tuned, I'll show you how I taught Bagheer how to do it. With something like this, the burrito, it's really a matter of building a bunch of smaller individual behaviors and then piecing those together. A behavior chain. It's a bunch of individual behaviors drawn into one that looks like rolling up in a burrito. Really those behaviors are getting her to go down onto the blanket, or in my case, a towel. Um, being able to have her grab and tug that blanket and having a, a roll over in that blanket while also holding on to the towel. Teaching those kind of individually and then putting them together in a behavior chain, that's where we get the success. So where do we start with it? Really, it doesn't matter necessarily where you start because we're gonna start with individual behaviors. You want a down, you need a rollover, and you need a grab and tug. Those are the three key components to this behavior. I'm not gonna go over how to teach a down in this video. Uh, if you wanna know that, let me know and I can do a video about teaching a down. We'll focus more on the rollover and the grab and tug and then piecing those together in the burrito. So we'll start with how do you teach a rollover? First, you're gonna need a down because the dog's gonna need to be a down. But then, how do you get the dog to actually roll over? Mind you, this is how I taught Bagheera to do it. I've taught other dogs to do it, but if your dog doesn't do it this way, it doesn't mean your dog's broken. It just means your dog learns a different way. This is Bagheera specific. If I taught Rue, it'd probably look a little different, but we're focusing on Bagheera. So this is how I taught it. So I use kibble, I call it treats, but kibble, and I use a clicker, you can use a marker word. Same difference, we're marking the behavior that we wanna see. Come here, come here, come here. So we'll try to get her in a place that you can see. Down, so we'll get her to go down. And then <laughs> she knows what's coming. From there, I wanna take a treat in my hand, you know, I call it a treat magnet, where she can't get to it, but it's there. Then I wanna run my hand back along her shoulder and then over. And then as she flips over, I click. Your dog might not go completely over, so it could be that we reward, hop up over this way, reward just for the dog going down. Just that flip back down like that. And then we build that to a more pronounced roll, maybe just to the back, and then maybe completely over. But we're kind of lowering that in how we take the treat. If I take the treat too wide, she'll probably do it, but a lot of dogs with their just learning, if you go too wide, they don't do it because it's they're trying to get to the treat. So the trick is, come here, go, go, down. Did I want to, there you go, take the treat close to her body, back on her shoulder and roll it over. And once she gets over into that spot, that's where I'm clicking, rewarding, and releasing the treat. And you can go back and forth both directions. So I'm really right on her shoulder where she has to kind of reach around to get it, right? Um, if you go too far away, it's gonna be easier for the dog to get it and less likely to get a roll. Come here, come here, down. So again, in close, close to the body, roll over. Once I get over, I'm pulling kind of out of way to get her to come back up. Come back up, there you go, right. So that's kind of the roll over component, and that's where we need that in the rolling up of the blanket. Roll over, right. The next piece of it that we want is we need a tug and hold behavior for her to grab the blanket towel and hold it, she's gotta be able to tug to be able to roll up in. Start off with quite literally tugging. If she doesn't wanna tug a toy, it's gonna to be really hard to tug a blanket or some other odd object. So if your dog likes tugging, you're ahead in the game. If not, then get the dog 
used to tugging. Toy Switch is an awesome game for teaching that. And if you're not familiar with that, I've made a video about that. Check my other videos. Hi, hi. Switch. So if we get that tug going, that desire to want to tug and pull, tug and pull, that's going to help us out. Switch immensely with building that desire to want to pull on the blanket. So we need some desire for tug. So it could getting your dog. Switch. Switch. Used to tugging and playing and used to pulling. That's important. Doesn't need to be with a lot of force like she's doing now, but she needs to be able to grab, tug, and pull something. Out. Once we have the general tugging and pulling behavior where the dog will actually tug and pull, then we can introduce our burrito wrap, our object that we want the dog to start wrapping up in. I'm using just a really big towel. I want it something big enough that will cover the dog. If I were to use a hand towel, it wouldn't really cover the dog. It'd be hard to do. And if it's too big, the dog could get lost in it. Bigger is better though. I'd rather a bigger object than a smaller object. And quite simply with this, can I get you over here? Um, that I do want to get her used to grabbing, there you go, and tugging. Get her okay with that grab and tug of this object. Yes, 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 out. Well, I don't want it to turn into tug of war and I stopped it there as she got up. This isn't a tug toy. I just want her used to grabbing it, right? And as we get used to grabbing and tugging this, then we can start placing it down in the environment and getting her with our down behavior. Come here, come around this way. Come here, down. Get her used, and she's used to the behavior. We're not doing it. Um, get her used to going down on, thank you. That's very, very good. She's used to burrito. Um, get her used to, out. Used to grabbing and tugging the blanket towel in the down position. Hey, touch. Yes. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, there you go. Let's move the feet, there we go. Hey, come here. Down, down. Grab, yes. And so for me in early stages, I would, grab some kibble treats and then click her and I would mark that grabbing behavior. Grab it. So just that grab and pull. Grab it. Grab it. And it could be that maybe you need to play with your dog in this position and when you feel a little bit of a tug, you click and reward that. Oh, there's a good girl, there's a good girl. It's getting used to that tug and pull. There you go, there you go. Nice, get it. Yeah, there you go, nice. We'll work on that for a little bit. There you go. So then as we have the tug and pull, we have a rollover, we wanna start piecing them together. So I wanna get her to tug and pull and then ask for a rollover. If she doesn't take this with her, that's totally fine. But I need those behaviors separate, then I can start combining it and building the duration of this. Grab it. Here you go. Grab it. Roll over. And she knows the behavior, so she's taking the blanket with her. But in early stages, she wasn't taking the blanket with her. She would grab it, tug, let go, and roll over. Totally fine, totally fine. She's still doing those behaviors. That's what I'm looking for. Come here, come here. Hey, hey, down. Grab it. There you go. Roll over, roll over. She know she's good. Roll over. I'll pay you for that. I'll pay you for that. Hi. I'm trying to get her to do a rollover without taking the blanket with her. Just to show you what it looks like. 
I don't know if I'll get there. Hopefully you get the idea of what we're doing. Come here. Hey, hey, grab it. Now, he roll over. There we go. There we go. So I did a little lower in there to kind of show you. The, she grabs it. Cool. She rolls over. Cool. Separate behaviors. And then we'll start building how far she rolls this over with it. And, and really, that's kind of where the rubber meets the road. That's where it takes the longest is building that and then getting the whole behavior together with it. So then as you have individual pieces, we've got a down, we've got a rollover, we've got a grab and tug. Then we can start piecing those together into a longer sequence. Don't be in a rush, take your time. The more time you spend on a stage, the more practice the dog has. It can be very tempting to try to rush through and get there. Your dog might work slower, totally fine. Work at your dog's pace. That's the real key. Take time. Your dog might learn fast. Awesome. You might see somebody else's dog that learns fast and expect your dog to learn fast. Don't. Like my other dog, Rue, would not get this as quickly as Bagheera. That's just how they learn. So it's a matter of them piecing it together and building those individual behaviors into one contiguous behavior. So that you can build a behavior that looks hopefully like this. Come here, come here. Let's reset her, toss a treat. And hopefully, come here, burrito. Roll over. Hopefully something like that. That was a little sloppy. We're still working on really polishing and building fluency, but that was still really good. That was still really good. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Let's try it again. Let's reset her. I'm gonna toss treat away just so that I can reset her. Hey, watch your feet, watch your feet. All right, let's see what we get. Come here. Down, roll over, burrito. <laughs> Not bad, so there you go. You have all the pieces in place to build your own burrito, your own black dog burrito or whatever color. Um, hopefully this was informative, hopefully this is fun. I'd love to see your takes. I'd love to see your, your process even. So it may take a little while to get a finished product. Take your time. I'd love to see that, that journey, that process. Share it with us. Um, right? That's a good dog. All right, until next time.